Half a year after the first presentation, the FIA updated their chassis concept for the 2026 F1 regulations. So let's take a closer look at this. Again, a small summary why we are in the situation we are currently in. Manufacturers wanted more electric power in the drivetrain, so they increased electric output to 350 kW. So the logical concept would have been to introduce a front electric motor for a lot more recuperation under braking, just like Formula E. But because Audi is joining F1 with their own drivetrain in 2026, and other teams were scared that Audi would have an advantage because of their LMP1 experience with front electric motors 10 years ago, they decided against the concept with an electric motor at the front axle. Trouble is now that the current drivetrains with a 120 kW MGUK, which is generating power while braking at the rear wheels, is reaching the grip limit and there is not much more possible. So if you want to feed a 350 kW motor, but 120 kW is already the limit under braking, how can you charge the battery during a lap? The front electric motor would have solved that, but instead they decided to burn fuel to charge the battery. Because the combustion engine power will be reduced as well for a 50-50 power split, it would mean that F1 cars lose more than 50% of their power on the straights to charge the battery, and would be really slow. We discussed this in my earlier video in summer already, and the FIA updated the concept now. The cars will have an X and Z mode, which basically just means that they will get an extended DRS function at front and rear wing, so constantly reducing drag on the straights so they don't burn too much fuel and they are not too slow. The update the FIA now published should make cars 2 seconds faster than what they showed in summer, because they increased downforce on these cars to not be slower than F2. That means now that downforce reduction compared to today's cars is only 15% instead of 40%. So how did they do it? They increased the front wing regulation boxes, so cascades can be bigger and produce more downforce. Also, they allowed front wing strakes again, so strakes underneath the front wing, which create vortices and can create outwash before the front wheels. Behind the front wheels are the large inverted barge boards, which should counteract outwash to keep losses close to the car's center line. But these boards can be a three piece design now and can be bigger. And they allowed for a longer diffuser for more downforce. So, with the whole concept of one did not just create a weird drivetrain situation, they are also throwing overboard everything they learned in the last 10 years about how cars can follow each other more easily. Cars which mostly rely on downforce from wings are more sensitive to dirty air. So these new cars will have more problems to follow each other anyway. With these new changes, more downforce from wings and more devices which engineers will use to produce outwash, the problem will get worse. So potentially we will reintroduce old problems here while burning fuel to charge the battery. So what do you think about these new regulations? Let me know in the comments below and see you at the next video.